Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting and in the same way this is a very tricky question from math interview. We have m times m times m plus m equal to 10 and we need to find our m. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then in a few minutes we will check we will check our answers. So first of all, don't be scared about this expression m times m times m because a lot of students are confused about this expression. But if you look closely, we have m times m equal to m square and m square times m m equal to m cube. So as a result on the on the, this part of paper we have m cube, okay? m cube. Right here we have plus m and equal to equal to 10. Right now, when we have this type of expression, it's really great to create zero on the on the right side. So right, right, right now let's bring this 10 from our right side to left side. So as a result we have m m cube plus m and minus 10 is equal to is equal to zero. Okay, this is our cubic equation. Here we have the third power, we have the first power. So this is our cubic equation. There are a lot of ways how can we solve this, how can we solve this cubic equa equation, but I'm going to show you this one. First of all, this 10 can be written as 8 plus 2. And why 8 plus 2? Because 8 is a great number, we can write it as 2 cube, and 2 is a great number because we can write it as 2 to the first power. Okay, so let's do this right now. So we have m cube plus m minus instead of this 10 as I told before we're going to write 8 8 plus 2. There are a lot of ways when we express this 10 like 6 plus 4 9 plus 1 but the best way is 8 plus 2 okay equal to equal to 0. Right now as I told before let's open our parentheses so we have m cube plus m minus 8 and minus minus 2 equal to 0. And as I told before, we express this 10 as 8 plus 2 because we're going to change this 8 by 2 cube and this by 2 to the first power. It's, it's a great expression for us because in the beginning we had the cube and the first power and then maybe we can easily group it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's change this 8 by, by 2 cube. So 2 cube is, is equal to 8 and a very easy expression 2 to the first power is equal to is equal to 2. So right now instead of this 2 we're going to write 2 to the first power and instead of this 8 we're going to write 2 to the third power. Okay, let's do this. So we have m cube plus m minus 2 cube and let's write it as minus, minus 2. Okay, because uh, I write this as a first power because I'm going I want you to see this um, grouping. So third power and the, f the first power power. Okay, right now let's group our third powers and the first power. So as a result, m cube minus 2 cube, let's group it. So we have m cube minus minus 2 cube, let's group this, this expression and we can also group this one, m minus 2. So plus, plus m minus minus 2. Okay, and right now let's look closely what do we have. We have a very easy expression with the first power and we have also a difference of two cubes. We need to know, we need to remember about this about this formula because this is our difference difference of two cubes. So when we when we when we factor it, as a result we have m minus two in the first parenthesis, and in the second parenthesis we have m square plus two m and plus plus four. Okay, this is our expression when we write our, our school formula. Difference of two cubes. And the next we have plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. And right now the final moment we have m minus 2 and we have right here m minus 2 so we can easily factor our, our m minus 2. So let's do this. So we have m minus 2 and in another parenthesis what do we have? We have m square plus 2m and plus 1 so we have plus 5. Okay, So we have m square plus 2m and plus plus 5 is equal to is equal to 0. Right now the final moment we have a product of two parentheses is equal to 0. So uh, this is possible when this expression is equal to 0 or this one. So let's start for example with the first parentheses so m minus 2 is equal to 0. So from here our m first is equal to is equal to 2. We will check it a little bit later. So we have m first is equal to 2 and right now let's solve the second equation. So we have also m square plus 2 m plus 5 is equal to is equal to 0. So we have m square plus 2m plus 5 is equal to 0. So let's find our discriminant quickly. So we have discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. As a result, this is equal to, we have b square, we have, we have 4 minus 4 times 1 and times 5. And when we simplify this, we have 4 minus 20. So our discriminant right here is, is negative. So we, it tells us that right here we have 
we have complex solutions, okay? Because in terms of fundamental theorem of algebra, in the beginning we had the third power. So a uh, fundamental theorem of algebra tells us that right here we have three roots in total, but we don't know how many roots is positive, how many roots are real, how many roots are, are complex, okay? So right now we can easily see that one is real number root, and right here we have two complex two complex roots. So let's find all of these roots. We have, we have our discriminant, and let's plug in this discriminant into our formula. We have m second and third equal to minus b plus minus square root of d and all over all over to a. Let's plug in this discriminant into our into our formula. So m second and third equal to we have minus b we have minus 2 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 16 minus 16 and all over all over to a. 2 times 1 this is equal to 2. Okay equal to we have minus 2 plus minus, right here, this square root of minus 16, let's split, let's write it as, my, as square root of 16 times square root of minus 1, all over, all over 2, which is equal to, we have minus 2 plus minus, square root of 16 equal to, equal to 4, and this is our complex unit, square root of minus 1 equal to, equal to i, okay, and we divide all of this by 2. Right now, the final, the final step, we can easily divide our numerator by 2, so as a result, we have minus 1, minus 1, plus minus, plus minus 2i. And these are our two complex, complex solutions. These are complex because we have our imaginary unit, we have our, we have our i. So right now, let's write our final answer to this question. Let's write our final roots. So our answer to this question, m first is equal to, is equal to 2 m second is equal to minus 1 plus 2i and m third equal to minus 1 minus minus 2i. These are our three three solutions, three root, we have m first and m second and m third. We can't check this complex solution, but in the same way we can easily we can easily check our our real number solution. This is our real number solution. We have m first is equal to 2. So let's check our our m first equal to 2. So we have check we have, what do we have in the beginning? We have m times m times m plus m is equal to 10. This is 100% a correct expression because we have 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 10. This is a correct, a correct expression. So this real number root, this is a great solution for us. And we have also two complex solutions because in terms of fundamental theorem of algebra, we have three roots in total because the highest power is third power. So we have three roots in total and we find that we have two complex solutions and two and one real number solution. Right now we can easily see a graph to this question. You can see this point, point of intersection. So it tells us that we solve this question absolutely correct. We have one real solution and in terms of real numbers, in, ter in terms of geometry, we have only one point of intersection, which is which is really great. So this is my explanation to this question. This is a great and quick question in terms of in terms of algebra, but a lot of students do this uh, tricky mistakes right here. So I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learn something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. You can also write a question down into the comment section. And thank you everyone for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.